close it off so yeah i think we are done here let's just try again and see whether she says anything differently yeah was that that's it missing one data pad from her though I'm just wondering whether what is that? Oh, just an actual bladder fish. Nothing. Are you? Oh, well, yes, because Samantha came here. Samantha did came here. Oh, there's something down there. Trying to look also for
Yes. meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand gripped the monster's scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I damn near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. I killed that beautiful, terrifying creature, and I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by watery void, just me and ocean. Nothing else. This part is a bit weird. It says that uh, a reaper, but if I'm not mistaken, it was a sea dragon. She brought back a sea dragon, the sea dragon attacked the base. Definitely not a reaper. Hmm. This part of the story seems conflicting. Anyway, yeah. Good, good. Uh, and here, the way out is there. Just follow the lights. Seek fluid intake. Because of the oxygen plants. But going further down, yeah. Unless we know what we're looking for, if you're uh, like me on a blind playthrough, this is just damn risky. Um, let's head back there. So the next thing we're gonna try to search for is the the, the wreckage that we found. The third location wreckage. Not sure whether there's more than three. Feels like there shouldn't be any because it seems to be only around this lily pad area. And now Search for a way in. Found a way in. Okay. There we go. 
can search through this systematically. Video there. All up there. the second floor yet. Lighter. Okay, so there's nothing here. Okay. The next area is there. Can I go through here? Need to cut open. Let's do that. this room Interest. One. Mm. 
Oh, bugger. Okay. Wait a minute. Is this what I think this is? <gasps> and I was wondering, I had all the eggs and no way to hatch them. On the upper side, you. Now we'll just scar this area first. Another door here. Let's let's just burn everything down. The ceilings. There's a third floor. Let's go in here. See if there's anything of use. No. This is another area. Which I will check out later. Okay. Okay, so there's a lot of recipes here as well. Damn it. I don't need all this. Uh. Okay, so nothing there except that we will need to check out. But for now, we need to head back. We are also running low on battery for new stuff. Good. Okay, let us eat. There's another place. Straight ahead. Let's check up straight ahead first. It's straight ahead is going up. Where does it go? It goes here. Is that it here? That's it here. Okay. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Ah, okay. I remember that. This was uh, something scannable. Okay, so only one way now. Not the way. 
have this yep so let's take a look anything of importance here no so here is only the oh what's that okay so we got ribbon plum I don't need mm. So nothing much I can do here and start trying to get me killed. Where's the way up? Shit! I'm running low on oxygen. I'm gonna die. panicking for a while there.
it. What? Oh. So this is the last location to get um, what's that? the power processing unit. But this is also where we get the alien containment and the reinforced dice. So the question of course is is there anything else? Let's just review cotton. Okay, this is definitely a must do. It's not that difficult either. The other one is obvious alien container. Um, should be there. Easy. Let's take a look at Civilization means da, 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 language. Oh man, 
And now most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug in Diana's ear about going to the surface so I can take a team to explore. I desperately hope this pans out. Oh, I can't wait till we get into communication range with Soul again. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from them so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give them so much more. Unfortunate. Maybe they didn't manage to give them anything. Orion's belt, this all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No, I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land, frigid, and cursed. Between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away. But if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the Mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely. Twice. I hate this. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the Mercury. Mm -hmm. So it looks like they were infected with Kara. So this was the period when the Kara hasn't been uh, cured yet. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks, and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos, how to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with, and no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, Galimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest drawl. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I don't mind. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set a picnic there and said, I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricators. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes, but the craziest part, he managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space, alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started out so well. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans, and we were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> It was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the frickin' history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited, naturally, and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. I mean, half my team, they got ripped to shreds by... Something. They died, screaming. Alone in the cold, dark waters. I, 
I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again. I refuse. And some of the animals on this planet, they look sick too. Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. I think we should leave. But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio patent payoffs would be worth it, but those families will never see their loved ones again. They don't care about no payoffs. We, we can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Please. Shit. It's kind of f up when you read these kind of stories. Anyway, I'm stopping the reading first. Otherwise, we can't get anything done. That's just the dream. Let's do one last scan. I think I got everything here. Um, it's a bit confusing and I think it's easy for me to really get lost, but... Okay. I was here. Let's go up. Okay. That's a lot of the actual what they are giving me. I think it's just another power of processing unit. So this would total five if this is it. And we just need three. Yep, it's another power of processing unit. So yes, okay, so let's just turn it. Okay, we are running low, so we gotta go. Let's head back first. Um, we're running low on air. Okay, so we're here. We need to go out here. This will. Yeah, I know I'm a bit, uh, you know, not taking risks, but like I said before, I'm trying to treat this like hardcore. And for those who watch from the beginning, yes, please don't remind me about the stupid death to the cold. That doesn't count, okay? That doesn't count. That was not even my fault. So yeah, I, I am trying to treat this really like, yeah, I got one life. Make it two. You know what I mean. Uh. Wait, what? Oh, because it was blonde. So, ah, okay, okay. So if I couldn't break through it, then... So, yeah, so five power processing unit. Just wondering whether if um, let me check something. Okay, so I'll do one last round. Uh, yeah, I know just now I say it was one last, but I went one big loop. So let's go for one really last round. So we'll go to the third floor, which has absolutely nothing. I don't recall being in here. What 
to oh six parallel processing units really The bridge, okay. I don't think there's anything important here, I hope. Those are the doors, so shut. Yeah, correct. So, yeah, I can go into there, it will lead me around to the other place but I'm a bit concerned This was the battery that I couldn't pick up. And there's no way in the hell I'm going below. Anything here? No. Okay. I think we we're done. I really don't see anything else here. If I found this one, then the other two rackets would be kind of pointless because this one has three parallel processing units. What is this two? Oh, okay. Okay, I think I got what I need here. Um, there is another area below that I could explore, but uh, I'm really keen on that. Good shot to the left, good shot to the right. 
Okay. Uh, I think. Beautiful. Okay. So reactor rods we can keep here before. Depleted, depleted, depleted. Oh shit. Come up for you? Okay. No. <sighs> Let's just put the four of you. Okay. And you That's a fool. You, you. Okay, so let's see. We need to charge batteries. Okay, so I think for this part, okay, let's finish up going through the last bit of stuff. Well, we landed safely, despite my apprehension. Diana, damned adrenaline junkie, took one of her defining risks and it paid off. Why hire me as the maintenance engineering officer if you aren't going to listen to their advice? <laughs> ah, Papa. I didn't go to school for eight years and get three degrees for nothing. I tried to convince Diana that we don't need to stop for repairs. That's what the drift drive and the secondary propulsion system are for. It's just a bit slower. But she's in charge, not me. On the plus side, I get to work with Yasmin. I didn't know she was such a busybody. She's been going around the whole ship giving folks a hand. I think she was getting on Diana's nerves, so she assigned Yasmin to me. <laughs> She's helping me inspect and repair the thruster systems. I thought I was the most mechanically inclined person on the ship, but I think she has me beat. She can definitely teach me a thing or two, as long as I don't get too distracted by her smile. <sighs> She's got the best smile. Uh, I can only do repairs in spurts, and it's so inefficient. The larger tools seem to set off seismic activity nearby. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. I don't know what they were going on about. They were hypothermic and frostbitten because they walked back to avoid angering them. The ice shelf is probably a bit unstable and they got disoriented or something. To borrow from Diana. Orion's belt. Thermal couplings are not meant to be worked on in 20 minute spurts. If we break the process, we'll break the ship. <sighs> but it's nice to hang out with Yasmin while we wait for the rumbles to stop. I hope she doesn't mind all my questions. I love hearing her voice. Her face lights up and she's got the most expressive eyebrows. They're practically acrobats. The way she looks when talking about nuclear engineering is the same way I look at my grandmother's domades. The woman never sits down, though. She told me that she used to do decathlon in college, and I can believe it. She's like a bouncy ball, just all over the place. She makes rounds on the ship every day to see if people need help. Hmm. I should do something nice for her. She's always helping everyone else. I 
Wish I had a fraction of her energy. <laughs> this is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. This should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more Soul Transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. <sighs> Tragic how everything turned out. I wonder what happened to Yasmin and Stephanos. You know, it would be nice if they have those um, Easter egg where we find like a, a skeleton or some kind of habitat with a notes about them. So yeah, but too bad, I don't think there is. Probably before I complete the game, I might just Google it to see. So we'll just take you off, lock you back in. Thing with that, we can call it an episode. So we have a few things to craft now. The reinforced driving suit will be nice, and we can craft the hydrochloric, so we can start making more of the pyrolyanalin. And with that, uh, yeah, I'll need to see what's next on the agenda. Um, we might actually check out this location and then I just realized I don't have any camera here camera 1, camera 2 we can make use of camera 4 yeah, I'll make use of camera 4. But I think camera 4 is currently way out of range. Okay, so I think the next part So I think in the next part we will just uh, Actually, I don't want to stay here because there's uh, some power out there. So, yeah, so as I was saying, in the next part we will grab the camera and explore that area and get the reinforced dive suit crafted. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.